Nowadays, a lot of car stereos come equipped with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, making integrating with your phone incredibly easy. There is usually one limitation. Most receivers only support wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. The growing request has been for these to be wireless and screen mirroring has become an even bigger request, specifically for YouTube. This has been all but impossible to do if the radio wasn't equipped from the manufacturer, but now there's an option and it doesn't require an HDMI or composite video input. This Tumixu, and I'm sure I butchered that name, three-in-one dongle will convert any Android Auto or Apple CarPlay receiver to wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay and provides wireless screen mirroring. You'll now be able to stream HD sources like YouTube by screen mirroring it directly to the radio's display without upgrading to a near top-of-the-line model. This also works with factory radios that have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Do keep in mind, some vehicles may not play nice with this dongle. The connection couldn't be any simpler. Just a simple USB connection to the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connection does the trick. The unit does have an additional USB input for USB thumb drives up to 120 gigabytes of stored audio video files for offline playback. For our testing, we're going to use the Power Acoustic CPAA70M digital media receiver, which is an entry-level model that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Unfortunately, on this unit, the USB is on the front, so it will not be as clean as a rear USB input. Let's start with the specifications of this little module. It's a quad-core CPU running at 1.5 gigahertz, has two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal storage and runs Android 11. Let's power the unit up and start with Apple CarPlay. Once the dongle is connected, the unit will provide a splash screen and takes you directly to the home screen of the device. Select Apple CarPlay and you will be taken to a screen that shows the device name. Open your Bluetooth settings and connect to the device. You'll be prompted to say yes to a couple of things and Apple CarPlay will now be wireless. You'll have a full Apple CarPlay with touchscreen control, playback audio apps, answer texts with Siri, and even place and receive phone calls, all like a wired connection. Next, let's connect to Android Auto. Click on the Bluetooth option within the dongle menu, then go to your Bluetooth settings, scan Bluetooth connections, and select the name you see on the screen. Android Auto will now automatically load wirelessly. You now have full Android Auto as though a cable were connected. Neither Android Auto or Apple CarPlay allow for screen mirroring for YouTube. To wirelessly screen mirror for Android, on the phone, swipe down from the top and select Smart View. Now select the device name. You will have full screen mirroring for YouTube. For iPhone, the instructions on the screen did not work for me. I had to enable the hotspot option on my phone, then go into the Wi-Fi settings on the dongle and connect the device to my iPhone hotspot. From there, I could select any YouTube video and press AirPlay option and select the dongle. For other apps like Maps, I swipe down from the top right and select Screen Mirroring to display everything on the radio screen. Neither Android Auto or iOS support touchscreen control in screen mirroring mode. I did try to mirror Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Prime. I was unable to get any of these apps to play video due to a DRM issue, which I was unable to resolve. Plugging in a USB thumb drive to the open USB slot on the dongle allowed me to play back stored digital media files. For video, I tested MP4 and WMV. For audio, I tested MP3 and WAV files, all played back with no issue. 
I did not test high resolution files such as FLAC, but considering this is an Android device, my guess is they would play back. The Bluetooth menu of the dongle allows you to place phone calls and do music playback. Not that I expect anyone to use this, why not just do it in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? But it is a nice feature to have. The settings menu has your connections to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Theme. Language. General settings. And firmware update options. Overall, the unit worked as it should and made this $170 radio operate like a much more expensive high-end model. And I gained screen mirroring in HD, otherwise not possible on this receiver without using the AV inputs. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. Product links are in the bio. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com for all of your car audio and video gear. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button, join the conversation below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.